go. Hi, welcome to Creative Orange County, the TV show. Um, we decided uh, to take the wildly successful Creative Orange County, the radio show, on the road. We're here today at our first venue. It's May 22nd, uh, 2012. We're at Grand Central Art Center. My name is Susan, and I will be your host. Um, here with me today, I'm going to be talking with Wendy Sherman, one of the co-curators, along with Concepcion Rodriguez of Mildred Sheets Studio, the art of home savings and loans. So come on in so we can talk to Wendy and find out more about this wonderful exhibit that's up until June 17th. We're here with Wendy Sherman, and Wendy's going to tell us about Mildred Sheets Studio, the art of home savings and loan. We're here at Grand Central Art Center, and she's going to tell us the who, what, where, when, why of this terrific exhibit um, that everyone needs to come down and see. So, hello, Wendy. Welcome. Hi, Susan. Okay, well, um, Mildred Sheets, the home of um, the art of home savings and loan, is going to be on display at Grand Central. Art Center in Santa Ana from until June 17th, and we're going to have an art walk on June 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. And you can come down and get a brochure. It tells all about the show. But I'll tell you about Miller Sheets. Um, he was a painter, a, a scene painter, watercolor painter, and he also um, designed the murals for these bank buildings. They were formerly Home Savings and Loan. Now they're Chase Bank. And uh, he started working on them in the early 50s. He was commissioned by um, Howard Amundsen, who owned the buildings, to create these wonderful mosaic murals. And the exhibit is about these murals. There's never been an exhibit, as far as I know, that just concentrated on the murals specifically. Um, and why, um, you know, why your interest in Mildred Sheets? Where did that kind of come from? I really didn't know anything about Millard Sheets until I saw an exhibit at the Pasadena Museum of California Art. I think this was in 2009, um, and I just I happened to stumble upon this exhibit, and I uh, came back and spoke to my professor, Mike McGee, who teaches at Cal State Fullerton, and uh, he's a, a somewhat of an expert on, on California art and Millard Sheets. And, he pretty much gave me the whole story about how Miller Cheats was very involved in the uh, Los Angeles art world at the time. And uh, at the very end of his Miller Cheats lesson, he just kind of threw in there that he had designed all these murals. And I had, I'd grown up with them, like so many other people in Southern California. Although they are all over the state of California. There's, um, I think there's about 40 of them in Los Angeles area and around a hundred in the state of California. Wow. That's and there's terrific. some um, outside of California also Hawaii and Texas and a couple other states. So it was very he was very prolific then. Yes. yes absolutely. Was, I think uh, through from the early fifties up until the eighties when he retired, I think in nineteen eighty retired. Um, and so you were talking to Mike, and then how does kind of Concepcion kind of, and, and you right. kind of get together about this? So it just stuck in my head when Mike told me that he designed these, because I I'd grown up with them, but I had no idea who the artist was. So I was like, you know, that would, you know, I really like, I'm sure there's a lot of people like me who had no idea. So when it came time to um, work on an exhibit for the exhibit design program, uh, Cal State Fullerton's MFA. Uh, yeah, Cal State Fullerton uh, <laughs> Exhibition Design Program. Uh, Connie had approached me, Concepcion had approached me, and, uh, and she wanted to um, do a show together, and that I thought that it would be a good um, project to work um, with a partner on, because um, we had both grown up in LA, and uh, she really liked the idea, and I knew that Mike liked the idea. <laughs> So, and also I thought it would be a really good um, show to do at Grand Central, and I really wanted to do a show here. And also, if we can um, come Yeah, let's today. come through and take a look, actually, at some of the, some of the murals and some of the work that uh, Wendy and Connie did. So, so how about we start with um, Santa Ana? Santa Ana. So, so also, um, a big reason for doing the show here is that the Santa Ana branch is only 10 blocks away. Um, this beautiful mural here, um, is at the Santa Ana branch, which is um, on Main Street, it's about 10 blocks away, Main and Washington, I believe. The address is um, 
1300 North Main Street. And uh, this branch was created in 1967. Um, and all the, the murals have to do with um, their scenes of life in each neighborhood or each um, city. So I don't want to talk, give too much away because I want people to come down and read the didactics and see the exhibit. But okay. all these were originally home savings and loan and they were built by Howard Robinson. Now they're on the Chase Bank. Terrific. They've changed hands a couple times. Well, let's take a look at, we'll move down and we'll and take a look at Anaheim. This is another local branch. This is Anaheim. This one is spectacular. If you haven't seen it, I advise driving by. It's at Lincoln and Harbor. In oh, Anaheim. right, on that count, at that and corner. Yeah, it's, you can see this is a photo of the original home savings Right there, uh, guys, branch. it's on the corner. And uh, this, the found, it was originally a fountain with the dolphins. Now it's a planter, and I'm happy to say they have... They have um, put some new flowers in there, so it looks really pretty now. Pretty sharp. And uh, I'm also happy to say that the people that work at this branch are very proud of the artwork, and if you, you can go in and talk to them about it, and, and uh, they have a little brochure they'll give you that talks about the mural. So. Wow. And then we've got one in Pomona. Um, Pomona, yes. And this is, this is another reason why we want to do the exhibit, is to talk about um, what's happening now with these murals? Like, how are they being preserved for the future? Because they are getting old. This Pomona is one of the early ones. It's from 1963, and this is one of Miller Sheets' pet projects because Pomona was his hometown. And this particular mural was the cornerstone of the Pomona Mall, which was his pet project. And, and uh, as I researched, as actually Concepcion and I researched, this project, we came to find out that, that Miller Cheek spent 10 years proposing the project wow. of the Pomona Mall. Like, apparently Howard Donaldson didn't really care either way if there was a home savings in Pomona, but it was all Miller Sheets. He wanted this mall and he wanted this, this building there. And it was a t um, actually a bank tower. And now it's endangered. It, it's got a scaffolding on it, as you can see in the photo on the left. The photo on the right is an earlier image that shows without the scaffolding. So um, right now, if you go look at it, um, this one is at, give me the address. It's rather iconic because it's one of the few buildings that has that height and kind of downtown Yeah, Pomona. the tower, yeah. It's, um, there's not too many towers. This is at 100 West 2nd Street in Pomona. And uh, we just found out, well, for a while there was speculation because of the scaffolding. Uh, we were, people were concerned that the bank was going to be torn down. There were rumors, but we found out very recently um, in March that um, they are going to restore the building. And they're just going to save the murals, so Chase Bank has stepped up. So we're very happy to hear that. Terrific. So what happens next with the, your exhibit? It's going to be up until June 17th? Um, it's open until June 17th, and I encourage everybody to come down on June 2nd for the art walk. <laughs> I'm trying to get one day of the picture. Yes. She keeps on moving. Come down and check it out and check out Grand Central Art Center. It's a great place. And Wendy, um, I also have a radio show, as I told you, because it's been wildly successful since last summer. And Wendy has graciously agreed to come on next Tuesday at 10 o'clock, along with Adam Aronson, Dr. Adam Aronson, who is also kind of a Miller Cheats um, aficionado. Actually, or? Adam is writing a book right now. Okay. A very thorough book on not only the murals of the home savings and loans, but every single aspect, the um, sculptures and the stained glass and architecture so he's researching everything thoroughly right now and he's going to be um, the book will come out uh, a couple of years 2014 maybe and uh, so he and I are going to be speaking at length at length at well for 30 minutes, minutes at least <laughs> um, <laughs> next Tuesday 10 o'clock folks so if you want to listen in more home savings excitement. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Well, we might. Well, Creative Orange County, the TV show, would like to thank Wendy Sherman um, for actually being our first guest, and this is kind of our first venture into TV, aka YouTube. <laughs> so please look for um, our video. Um, you know. Soon.